All right, guys, we're here at Manchester Lane, the Titleist testing facility. We're gonna be testing the new Pro V1 and Pro V1X. And on top of that, one of you is gonna win a year's supply of Pro V1 or Pro V1X. How cool is that? Stay tuned, let's go. All right, guys, we are back in a special place today, Mike. It is special. Look at this place. Look at this place. Manchester Lane, the Titleist testing facility, which is just such a hidden little, mm. it, like you feel like coming into the back cave <laughs> yeah. coming in here, but then you come in and it's just pure as can be. And what better place today than to test out the new 2021 Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do, I mean, I think it's a good idea. We had a, we had learned a lot going through a ball fitting. Right. But that was what, 18 months that ago now? a long time ago, so things right? have changed. Things have changed, things have changed with our equipment. You guys have seen we've both gone through extensive uh, lessons. We worked with Brad Worthington, we worked with Kevin Sprecker. Um, Matt Wilson Matt at Ball Wilson Destroy. Matt Wilson at Ball So there's been not only changes to our swings, but also equipment. You guys saw new fittings in the past year with the, uh, the new irons, the new TSI driver. Mm -hmm. So a lot's changed and all that leads us to think it's time to take a look again at the ball. Always looking for, for things that might change and new ways to get new gains. And I said it's the perfect time to do it because we've got the new Pro V1 and Pro V1X, which you're gonna learn a lot about today as well. Yep. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it. I love these fittings. Yeah. So you can just hit a bunch of balls and then they tell you, the pros will tell you what ball is perfect for you. And so. no matter what, there's always something that surprises us. That's it. As much as we think going in, we know what it's gonna be, the answer's gonna be, we're always surprised, so. You were fitting the Pro V1, I was in the Pro V1X last time, yes. so things could change. Things absolutely could change. We're gonna be testing four different balls today. Okay. So what do you say, we kick it off, let's go get started. It's gonna be a lot of swings, so let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right, so we're back with a familiar face, Michael Rich, Senior Manager of Golf Ball Fitting, Pair Pound, however we do it nowadays. So today we're gonna get fitted, as we just talked about, and we were with you last time, 18 months ago, TPC River Highlands on a windy day. You fit me for the Pro V1X, that's what I ended up walking out, and I've been playing it ever since. Great results, but like we said, things change. Equipment, body, everything, swing. So I'm curious to see if that's gonna change the ball for me, so. Yeah, so there's a bunch of factors in play here, right? You've been working on your game, making some swing changes. You got some new equipment in your bag. Most importantly, we have new Pro V1 and Pro V1X that we're gonna test with, yeah. some great changes in these products. So anytime we come out with new products like these, we want you to go out and test and reevaluate which one of these models is gonna be best for your game. So we're gonna do that today. Great. I'm cool. excited to swing, let's go. Mike, they brought in all this fresh sod for you. I told them to, uh, a week in advance to get mounds of sod. But I did apologize before I went out here, so. Look, I'm not digging yet. So while Mike warms up, I think one thing that I wanna highlight in our own experience is um, we all are so now used to and adept with the idea that when new equipment rolls out or when we make swing changes, we make changes with our clubs, right? But the problem is, and what I wanna highlight here, is don't, don't sleep on the golf ball. There's a lot, and we'll be talking more about it with the guys here in a minute of some of those changes that came in aerodynamically with the cover, with the dimple pattern. There's a lot of changes here. So I think it's easy for us as golfers to sometimes slip into that pattern of just kind of always playing the same ball. Uh, I think if, if it's a ball you're fit for, which you guys saw in the last video, I think that's a terrific thing. But again, there are changes, there are times to reevaluate. So again, being that it's been about 18 months since we last did it and all the changes that came into play, now it's a smart time. Why not? Reevaluate. And again, wouldn't shock me if we come out of here with a surprise, with a change or two of what we end up playing. But it, again, it's a moving target. The golf game is a moving target. We change, equipment changes, so don't sleep on the golf ball. Make sure you guys are reevaluating regularly. So Mike, I do want to just pause and just get your philosophy on that. For anybody who didn't see the video last time, you guys are doing these fittings regularly and there are people who are coming from different golf balls. So where do you usually start in a fitting like that? You're having them get a baseline with their ball or something similar, how does that work? Yeah, so obviously we know Mike's game and we've worked with him before, so we have a sense of what's gonna work for him now. Um, if a golfer's coming in fresh and we haven't worked with them before, we're gonna always start with Pro V1. Pro V1 sits as the centerpiece of our lineup 
and it really delivers the optimal flight and spin characteristics for most golfers. So we always start there, we look at those numbers, and then we adjust off of Pro V1 as the baseline. So as we look at your numbers here, Mike, we look at 7,200 RPMs of spin and a 42 degree land angle. That combination is gonna give you the stopping power you want. Now, with Pro V1X, this is our highest launching ball. It's also gonna give you the steepest angle of descent. So typically with this shot, we're hoping for right around, certainly over 40, even upwards of 45 degrees in terms of a land angle okay. for optimal stopping power. So I wouldn't wanna see that shallowed out any. So I don't think going to Pro V1 or AVX, which is gonna give you a lower trajectory and a shallower land angle would be ideal for this shot. Plus with the spin you were getting in the short game with Pro V1X, seems like we're gonna be happy where we were. Right. Um, but let's go ahead and grab your driver and let's hit some drivers now. All right, so Frederick, let's say, uh, you know, he's still working through a lot of balls over there, but let's say Mike was to, he's in the X and he stays in the X. Just the model change, what are some of the changes and some of the differences he should see? Yeah, so the real keys are gonna be what he sees, certainly in trajectory, that new dimple pattern on the new Pro V1X is gonna fly help the ball fly a little higher than, than the old version. Um, it'll feel softer, that softer cover is really gonna to contribute to softer feel in the new Pro V1X versus the old one. And he'll see longer distance, that core and casing layer change that we made um, with that new stiffer casing layer is gonna promote speed in the long game and lower spin, which is, you know, is a recipe for distance. Absolutely, I'm very interested in the dimple pattern because we got the opportunity to tour the, the, the ball manufacturing plant and we saw what went into it, the dyes and things like that. So it's no small change when you need to change that. You're going through a ch retooling, basically. So what would, prompt, um, what would prompt you to start to want to make that change, to change a dimple pattern that's been there for a little bit now, right? So first new dimple pattern for us, totally new pattern, new counts since 2011, 388 on Pro V1, 348 on Pro V1X. And as you said, if we change, it's, it's a big investment, it's a big deal, so it has to be a lot better. Because we manufacture everything ourselves and we even make our own tooling, which is a, a, a large and, and difficult process, um, to commit to a new pattern is a huge financial commitment, but we really think it delivers better performance for the golfer. And so it takes over 70,000 individual cavities to run our Ball Plan 3 and Ball Plan 4, Pro V1 and Pro V1X, for the year to, to remake all of those um, is a big deal. But because it delivers so much better performance, really those patterns themselves are, are gonna help promote longer distance, certainly more consistency through the air. We wanna give that to the golfer and, uh, and we think they really benefit from it. Yeah, that's amazing. 10 years it's been since the last dimple pattern change. It's a, bi it's a big change. So where are we at with Mike right now? So you'll remember from last time, the driver's the last club that we're gonna look at in any ball fitting. Um, and we do this because we wanna make sure that the golf ball we're gonna recommend is gonna work for every club in the bag. But we're really gonna base our recommendation off of the wedge shot and the iron shot. We're concerned about shots into and around the green. In terms of the driver, regardless of what golf ball we recommend, we're gonna be able to adjust the driver, as you guys have seen through yeah. your driver fittings, to optimize your launch conditions with your driver, regardless of which model golf ball you're playing. But we like to do this at the end of the fitting just to kind of confirm our recommendation. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here. Isn't it uh, that most of these balls are perform characteristics for performance are fairly similar with driver because they're all just targeting lower spin? Golf balls are more similar than they are different off the tee, right? So with the driver, we're gonna see very similar spin characteristics across the board. From our highest spin model to our lowest spin model off the driver, it's only about a 200 RPM difference in terms of spin, which is really not much of anything at all. So with the driver, really, once we've dialed something in with wedges and irons, we're just looking for anything that stands out critically here. But otherwise, the performance, the real where you're honing in, is those irons and, and wedges. A absolutely, yeah. we wanna make sure we're dialed in with the performance on your irons and wedges. That's where the scoring shots come in. We know that any of these golf balls are gonna perform well off the tee. Gotcha. All right, Frank, your All turn. Right. I'm excited for this, because if you remember from the last time, a big thing for me was I really like the soft feel. Yep. So I started in the AVX because I liked how soft it felt, but we ended up getting better performance out of the Pro V1, Yep. right? But now hearing too, working in the brand new ball, having a little bit more of a softer feel, I think it might be able to take something that's already working for me, maybe work a little bit better. I think that would be the hope, right? So right. one of the things that we did with the 2021 
new Pro V1 is to make it have a softer feel to it. So again, hitting on that preference that you have for a softer feel. Uh, and we, we fit into Pro V1 last time because we wanted more of that spin and control into the greens. We weren't seeing as much of it right. with AVX, but if now we can get the best of both worlds, right? A little bit softer feel with the new golf ball, the new Pro V1, and the spin and control we're looking for into the greens, kind of a win-win there. Right, and talking about like that kind of that moving target of games changing, one big focus that I've had over the last 12 months is trying to rely less on height for my stopping power and more on spin. You know, I get out there in windy conditions and if you if you're only you know, way to attack a green is high up in the air, you're in trouble. So especially with my wedges, we got I got the new SM8s, I've been working on a lower flying, higher spinning. So it could also mean a change in the ball to some extent. It, it, it could, and you're thinking about the wedge game and even the iron game in the right way, right? The best way to control your distance is to have a little bit of a flatter flight, right? right. So you start throwing it up in the air, it's gonna be exposed to the elements, and you know, I always think about it like throwing a ball from center field to home plate, right? If I wanna throw that ball, you know, we got Mike Madsen, the baseball player, talking to us. <laughs> We're gonna throw it on this type of a line, right? right. That's gonna give us our best chance to hit our target the distance that we want. I'm not gonna launch it way up in the air like that. It's gonna be a lot harder to control your distance there. So if you can flight it down through optimal window and have the optimal spin on that golf ball, you're still gonna get the stopping power and you're gonna have a better flight to it. That's been a huge focus for me. It's a lot easier said than it is done, <laughs> but again, putting the time and the investment into learning that shot, I think it's important for any golfer. Absolutely. Yeah, and then you gotta have the ball that can do it. You gotta have the ball. Here you go, you can just, just call me Michael Gareller. Here you go. Thanks. So come on back here. I just wanna, I wanna talk to you about some of the stuff that you were just talking about, trying to flight these down and use spin to your advantage. And here. I would say first things, initial impression, it feels softer. Great. It definitely feels softer. I mean, I've never felt that the Pro V1 didn't feel soft, but again, I, the, I always pushed it towards that AVX. I like that softer feel. I'm getting a little bit of that here. Love that. So love to hear that and also love to see what we're getting here on this half wedge shot. So again, we were just talking about the ability to flight it down a little bit and use spin to your advantage to get that golf ball to stop. Right. So you look at the way the best wedge players in the world will play this shot. They're gonna launch it somewhere between 25 and 30 degrees and use spin to their advantage, right? So that's exactly what you're doing here. Launch right at 30 degrees, 29 and a half degrees. 7,400 RPMs of spin. So that's gonna give you your best opportunity to control the distance of that shot and get it to stop on a dime, right? That is one bounce, two bounce, lock up and stop exactly where you want it. So I love that there. So you're happy with the feel. I'm happy with the spin and the performance characteristics of it. So let's work through your bag a little bit, hit some other shots. And if we end up making a golf ball adjustment, we'll come back and revisit this shot. Gotcha. All right, Michael, so we heard about the dimple pattern changing. It's been yep. time in about nine years, right? So talk to me about the inside of the ball. What changes have been made to go into this ball to make it go further and perform better for us? So w w one of the biggest things is we have a stiffer casing layer. And then as part of that development to kind of balance out that stiffness of the casing layer and that gives you that extra speed, made some formula adjustments to the core mm -hmm. in order to keep that compression the feel kind of the same, but give us that little bit of extra ball speed. And then in, on top of that, the cover changed, softer cover really gives you that uh, increase in short game spin that you're looking for and it's really the kind of the whole combination of all those different parts and pieces and the balance of putting all that stuff together to really make sure that our long game performance is we have that high speed low spin performance with the long game and that short game performance that you need around the greens perfect Here too, I like the trajectory. I'm not Good. seeing anything getting way up in the air. Yeah, nothing's ballooning up in the air. And, right. and with the driver, it's important that you know we're optimizing carry, but when it gets on the ground, you're getting something out of it, it there too, right? So you want the optimal flight and the optimal land angle with driver so that when it gets on the ground, you're getting some yard out of it there as well. And I think we saw that with the new Pro V1 here. Yeah. So out here testing on track, man, Again, I'm feeling pretty confident that the new Pro V1 is gonna be great for you. The next thing that we wanna do is go back and test some actual shots into a green, hitting some wedges and some iron shots. Because uh, again, on the golf course is where you really need to evaluate and make the final decision. I think the data would tell us that, you know, again, Pro V1 is a good fit for you. It was a good fit for you before. It may be an even better fit for you now, yeah. um, but we still wanna go put it to the test on the course. 
All right, so another major benefit of this amazing facility here at Manchester Lane is this absolutely epic short game area. So we talked earlier about Trackman is one thing, but it's only one piece of the puzzle. Uh, real world performance is another. So we're gonna hit a little couple pitch shots here, take a look at how that ball really interacts with the green. Um, again, just like last time in our, our fitting, we actually took it out to the course. So it's something that you can even replicate yourself a bit if you're doing some of your own testing, testing on the course, bringing a sleeve of golf balls out there, hitting this type of shot. We're right here, we're gonna hit about a 60 yard shot into the green. We had one. No, we had one. Oh. So, Mike, a shot like this, I mean, this is where it's heavy on feel. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a couple things here. One, feels super important for a lot of players around the green. So, we want to make sure the golf ball feels right. But again, even on a shot like this, the spin you can generate with a golf ball like Pro V1 or Pro V1X is really beneficial uh, because it, it, it allows players to be able to judge how much that ball is going to run out versus a golf ball that's going to be really low spin. Uh, and when it lands on the green, you're then left guessing in terms of how much run out you're going to get there. But here, you know, again, you're looking for kind of one bounce, two bounce, and then that a few yards of trickle towards the hole um, on a shot like this, you know, a 20 to 30 yard pitch shot. This too is kind of one of those areas for me that we often highlight on the podcast and things like that when we talk about newer and beginner golfers sometimes thinking they're not quite ready for the Pro V1. And we say, this is a shot that some of you and your newer golfers are going to hit yep. and they're going to want to have ball that they can stop. So this is a tricky shot, right? Lots of players have a difficult time with this type of 30 yard pitch shot. And what we tell those players is where they don't think they can benefit from Pro V1, let the technology of these golf balls work for you, right? The construction of these golf balls helps build spin into these shots where you need it most. So if you're saying, well, I'm not good enough to really experience that, let the golf ball help you out there. Let the technology help you out as opposed to playing a low spin ball here where it's gonna be even more difficult right. for a less skilled player to control. Yeah, you're making a hard shot harder. Even harder, yeah. exactly. Well, you wouldn't believe how close that one ball is there, Mike. I know, it's just sitting there on the it's edge, just huh? Just sitting on the lip. Ricochet. Well, you said there'd be a number of different difficult <laughs> shots out here. We found one. This this is one of them for sure. Yeah. Huge face to this bunker. Not a lot of not a lot of green to work with before the pin. But again, I think this is an opportunity to point out the importance of playing a high performance golf ball, right? Like playing Pro V1 or Pro V1X here actually gives you a chance to hit this shot and keep it on the green. Whereas if you're playing a low spin, distance focused golf ball, that thing if you can get it out of this very <laughs> difficult bunker, is gonna hit the green and it's gone on Die. you. You right. have no chance. Right. There you go. Backstopping? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, <that's so> awesome. <laughs> there it yes! Is. There it is. Good stuff. And it stayed on the green. There you go. All right, so Mike, we tried a little bit of everything. Even this deadly <laughs> shot right here. But again, exhausting all the different things because on the golf course, you're gonna be facing a lot of different things. Interestingly, we both ended up, and I want you to talk a little bit about why, but we both ended up in the same golf ball. I feel like there's a familiarity because of the Pro V, but at the same time, that one thing that I kind of wanted a little bit more of, the feel, I got a little bit more out of it. Yeah, so I mean, I think that's exactly what we want, right? Anytime we come out with new products, we want to refit someone. Go back, double check, and make sure they're playing the right model for their game. With you two guys, that was the case, right? We yep. didn't really switch either one of you out of the model that we had fit you into before. 
But with the improvements that we've made to the golf ball, it's important to go back, go through the process again, and make sure we're still dialed in there. Um, you know, for some golfers, we would end up switching them out, you know, due to changes in their game, mm -hmm. in their equipment, uh, and in the golf balls that, that we've designed. So for you, we ended up back at the new Pro V1. Uh, and like you said, still the best fit for you, but we're also getting some, some great improvements there through improved feel, a little bit more distance, with the new version of the Pro V1. So still still ideal for you in terms of overall performance with a couple added benefits there. Right. Uh, and then with Mike, I do think the new Pro V1X is ultimately gonna be where he lands. I think testing with left dash will be interesting for him just cause he does tend to be a little spinny in the iron game. Mm -hmm. But I think if he goes through a nice side-by-side -side comparison, I think ultimately he's gonna end up in the new Pro V1X. I think it's better overall for his game. And again, uh, you know, we, we see some things with the improvements to that golf ball, a little bit more distance, a little bit softer feel from where it was, uh, but giving him the flight characteristics that he wants and needs for his game. Right. And I think if there's one thing we want to drive home here, I mean, we're at a testing facility, right? So test, go out in there and try it. Like I said, don't sleep on the ball that you currently have because there are changes. You change, your equipment changes, and the ball changes. You know, we had the benefit of talking to both Mike and Frederick about some of the different things that have gone into the new Pro V1 and Pro V1X. So what I would say is get out there, guys. Get a sleeve. Get a sleeve of each. Go out on the golf course. See how they perform for you. See, are you holding more greens? What's the trajectory look like? Because it, you'll learn a lot, not only a lot about your game, but you'll come out with more confidence. Confidence is key. Confidence is huge, yeah. and all, so is consistency too. So we earlier we talked about Pro V1, Pro V1X, AVX, and left dash, but we also talked about the rest of the line with tour speed, tour soft, velocity, and true feel. So when you go out and test, even if you ultimately land on true feel as being the best golf ball for you, given everything you're looking for in a golf ball, be consistent with that choice. Build that consistency into your game. It'll pay dividends, right? You're going to see it in terms of your confidence and in terms of your performance. Exactly. All right, guys. You didn't think we were gonna let you get out of this one without a giveaway, right? So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna give away one full year supply of whatever golf ball you pick from the fitting today. AVX, Pro V1, Pro V1X, or the left dash. And here's how you do it, really simple. Comment below, let us know what ball you're playing now and which, based on what you saw today, you think would best fit your game. Obviously, like I said, fitting is where it's gonna really unveil that, that answer, but Comment what you think would fit your game best. We'll pick one lucky comment. And you know what? Not only will you win a, a year's supply, we'll also throw a little customization in there for you. So let us know. Drop those comments. We'll pick one lucky subscriber to win a year's supply. Pro V1, Pro V1X. All right, Mike, we're going to take this home to resize your house. Okay? There's so many of them. Here, let's just, I'll get these nice for you. And uh, that's a small sod truck. We, we need could now. bring these home for you. <laughs> Hey, Eventually you'll have a whole lawn. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs>